The story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden is one of the most iconic and foundational narratives in religious history. It has shaped religious thought and human understanding for millennia. At the heart of this story is the serpent, a cunning creature that tempts Eve to eat the forbidden fruit, leading to humanity's fall. But what if the serpent in this story was never actually a serpent? What if everything we thought we knew about this tale needs to be dramatically re-evaluated? The original Hebrew text of Genesis reveals something far more complex and fascinating. Let's dive into this ancient narrative and uncover the hidden truths that challenge our conventional understanding. In the traditional telling, the serpent in the Garden of Eden is a literal snake, a creature of deceit and temptation. This serpent, with its cunning and sly nature, convinces Eve to eat the forbidden fruit, which leads to the fall of humanity and the loss of innocence. This interpretation has been deeply ingrained in religious teachings and cultural depictions for centuries. The serpent has been seen as the embodiment of evil and the instigator of humanity's downfall. But the original Hebrew text suggests a different, more nuanced interpretation that goes beyond the simplistic view of the serpent as merely a deceiver. In Genesis 3.1, the serpent is introduced with the Hebrew word Nahash. This word is commonly translated as serpent or snake in most English versions of the Bible. However, Hebrew is a rich and complex language, and Nahash carries layers of meaning that are lost in translation. While Nahash can indeed mean serpent, it also possesses other meanings that open the door to a different understanding of the serpent's identity. In some contexts, Nahash can refer to a diviner or someone who practices enchantments. This dual meaning invites us to explore the possibility that the serpent in Genesis is not merely a snake, but a being with knowledge or supernatural powers. The word Nahash could imply a being with profound knowledge or supernatural abilities. Scholars have debated the true nature of the serpent for centuries, with some arguing that Nahash should be understood metaphorically, representing a force of chaos or a rebellious divine being. Others suggest that the serpent was not a literal snake, but a symbolic figure, possibly even a fallen angel or a manifestation of Satan. This perspective likens the serpent to Prometheus in Greek mythology, a divine rebel who challenges the established order and brings knowledge to humanity. This interpretation presents the serpent not merely as a deceiver, but as a complex figure with a dual role as both tempter and enlightener. In many ancient cultures, the serpent symbolized chaos and disorder. In the book of Genesis, the serpent may represent the disruptive forces that challenge divine order and test humanity's obedience. This view is supported by the serpent's role in leading Adam and Eve to disobey God, introducing chaos into the previously harmonious existence of the Garden of Eden. Ancient myths often depict serpents as personifications of primordial chaos. For example, in Babylonian mythology, the chaos monster Tiamat, often described as a serpent or dragon, represents chaotic forces that the god Marduk must overcome to create the world. Similarly, in Norse mythology, the Midgard serpent, Jörmungandr, is a giant sea serpent that threatens the world's order. Applying this symbolic structure to the Genesis narrative, the serpent can be seen as an agent of chaos, testing the limits of human obedience and divine order. This interpretation emphasizes the struggle between order and disorder, a prevalent theme in many creation myths. Another interpretation is that the serpent is a metaphorical figure embodying the internal conflict between obedience to God and the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. This view emphasizes the moral and philosophical dimensions of the story suggesting that the serpent represents the human inclination to seek knowledge and challenge divine boundaries. From this perspective, the serpent symbolizes human curiosity and the desire for self-determination. The act of eating the forbidden fruit becomes a profound statement about human nature 
and the quest for understanding. This metaphorical interpretation aligns with various philosophical and literary traditions that explore the theme of forbidden knowledge. For example, in John Milton's Paradise Lost, Satan, in the form of a serpent, tempts Eve by appealing to her desire for wisdom and autonomy. Similarly, the story of Prometheus in Greek mythology, who defies the gods to bring fire and knowledge to humanity, echoes themes of defiance and enlightenment. Understanding the serpent as more than a literal snake transforms our interpretation of the Genesis story. Whether the serpent is seen as a divine rebel or a symbol of chaos, it represents a profound and ongoing struggle within the human experience. The narrative takes on a richer and more complex meaning, becoming a tale of divine and human interaction, the pursuit of knowledge, and the struggle between order and chaos. This new perspective allows us to revisit the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Instead of seeing the serpent as merely a trickster, we can view it as a catalyst for humanity's journey toward knowledge and self-awareness. The act of eating the forbidden fruit represents a pivotal moment in human history, marking the transition from innocence to understanding, from blind obedience to conscious choice. This reinterpretation has profound theological implications, challenging the traditional view of the serpent as purely evil and inviting us to consider the possibility of a more nuanced character. It also raises questions about the nature of temptation and the role of divine beings in human affairs. Was the serpent's temptation a necessary part of God's plan for human development? Was the pursuit of knowledge an inevitable and essential step in our evolution? To truly understand the serpent's role, we must also consider the broader context of ancient mythologies and cultural beliefs. In various mythologies, serpents were often associated with wisdom and immortality. For example, in ancient Mesopotamian mythology, the god Ninazu, associated with vegetation and the underworld, was often depicted as a serpent or with serpentine characteristics. Similarly, in Egyptian mythology, the cobra was a symbol of the goddess Wadjet, representing protection and royal authority. These cultural contexts suggest that serpents were not merely symbols of deceit, but were also revered for their perceived knowledge and power. By considering the serpent in Genesis as a divine being, we can see it as a figure possessing profound wisdom and a unique relationship with the divine. This interpretation suggests that the serpent's temptation of Eve was not merely an act of deception, but a complex interaction involving divine knowledge and human free will. In many ancient cultures, the serpent symbolized chaos and disorder. In the book of Genesis, the serpent may represent the disruptive forces that challenge divine order and test humanity's obedience. This view is supported by the serpent's role in leading Adam and Eve to disobey God, introducing chaos into the previously harmonious existence of the Garden of Eden. The reinterpretation of the serpent as a divine being or a symbol of chaos also has profound theological implications. It challenges the traditional view of the serpent as purely evil and invites us to consider the possibility of a more nuanced character. This perspective raises questions about the nature of temptation and the role of divine beings in human affairs. Was the serpent's temptation a necessary part of God's plan for human development? Was the pursuit of knowledge an inevitable and essential step in our evolution? This new understanding encourages us to approach the Bible with an open mind, recognizing the complexity and depth of its stories. It also underscores the importance of studying original languages and cultural contexts to fully grasp the meanings embedded in these ancient texts. Engaging critically with biblical texts, understanding their historical, linguistic, and cultural contexts can reveal deeper insights and more nuanced meanings. This approach promotes a more informed and enriched faith experience, recognizing the multifaceted nature of biblical characters and stories. The role of the serpent as both tempter and illuminator adds depth to the story of Adam and Eve, 
leading readers to reflect on the complexities of human nature and the pursuit of knowledge. The story of the serpent in Genesis is just one example of how deeper exploration can reveal significant insights and transform our perspectives. Throughout this journey, we uncover deep layers of meaning hidden in the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The serpent, often seen as a mere deceiver, emerges in a new light as a complex figure, possibly a divine being, a symbol of chaos or a metaphor for the human quest for knowledge. This new perspective invites us to reconsider our traditional understanding and recognize the richness and depth of the biblical texts. This reflection reminds us of the importance of approaching scripture with an open mind and a heart willing to explore. Careful study of the original languages and cultural contexts can reveal truths that enrich our faith and deepen our understanding. The serpent, as a catalyst for the human pursuit of wisdom and self-awareness, teaches us about the challenges and rewards of seeking knowledge. As we reflect on all that has been discussed, we are called to see the story of Adam and Eve not just as a tale of disobedience and fall, but as a narrative of growth and evolution. The pursuit of knowledge, though often fraught with challenges, is an essential part of the human journey. The serpent reminds us that curiosity and the desire to understand are fundamental aspects of our nature. May this new understanding inspire us to seek knowledge with humility and reverence, recognizing the complexity of our existence and the depth of the stories passed down to us. Comment, share, and subscribe to our channel to join us on this journey of exploration and discovery.